Hey guys, what's going on? Dow Addison again from torpedopot.com. Dow Addison, torpedopot.com. Well, we make self growing planters. <clears throat> well, all you do is turn that knob right here on this planter and it waters your food for you, it feeds your food for you. All you do is simply put the plants and the seeds in and we supplement with an organic supplement once a week or once every month or maybe once a year depending upon what type of plant you have and the type of soil you have. But for the most part, these plants that have been growing by themselves, I came and I moved a couple of things around like I added some, some flower plants uh, to this cucumber mix. These are all cucumbers right here. I wanted to have a little diversity so I added a little I see a sunflower in here. I think it's going to look cute. <clears throat> but what I'm doing here is um, I'm observing um, these seeds. <clears throat> see how healthy this breed of plant is. It's nothing like looking at a plant <clears throat> and having the true genetic inheritance come out, work its way out of that plant once you start putting it in a torpedo pot. In other words, what torpedo pot does is that it allows the plant to maximize its expression so you can know exactly what it is, how it behaves, what colors and what areas of growing does it like. Torpedo pot allows you to have a controlled biotic environment for growing your plants and developing your plants. <clears throat> so last growing season, we were scheduled to grow about 200 cucumbers. Um, and one 24 inch planter, we grew 52 cucumbers, 52 cucumbers and just 24 inches. And so um, we wanted to duplicate that and grow like 200 to maybe a thousand cucumbers. And we did it. We used a variety of a cucumber seed that was so devastating. You can look on the website, look on the grow page, you'll see a total collapse of that product. <clears throat> our food stuff. We don't know what to call it because it was not stable enough to exist in the real world. Whoever issued that seed uh, issued really, really bad seed because if a plant can grow and more than likely it will always grow in a torpedo pot. We're precision growers. We develop biotic growing systems for growing thousands of plants. So I wanted to analyze this uh, cucumber plant that I'm looking at right now to see what I'm seeing so far and um, let you see what I'm seeing so far. I've got two 12-inch uh, planters and I've got, I think, two 16-inch planters. And um, <clears throat> they're growing my cucumbers. They're doing a pretty good job. I don't mind it. Each one of these had four plants inside of them. And so this might be overloaded, that may not be overloaded. We'll see what that, exactly what happens, we can make a decision. So what am I looking at right now? <clears throat> I have to tell you, I'm happy with what I'm seeing because <clears throat> I'm seeing that the plant is actually growing. It looks healthy, it looks strong, it looks vibrant. What all I'm seeing also is that I see browning and small patches here and there. That's when you see signs of conflict. And that lets you know how stable your food really is. My name is Dara Addison. <clears throat> These are torpedo pots. These are self-growing planters. And their job is to grow your food for you with no human intervention. Put your plants in, put your seeds in, and walk away for the rest of your life and you'll have food <laughs> until you until you run out of seeds hopefully and but the planter should run a long time very long period of time <clears throat> now the stressing that i'm seeing in the plant now cucumbers do not require a lot of water that's what i've been told and so i'm going to cut back the water a little bit let them dry out and see how they behave they look great don't get me wrong they look great <clears throat> but i i'm in challenge with two things i'm in challenge with having to deal with a hybrid and then i'm trying to adjust my environment so that I can have that hybrid take off. Does that make sense? And that's what Torpedo Pot does. It allows you to adjust your environment to the conditions of the plant that you're growing inside of it so it can live and do things you've never seen before. <coughs> so for an East Planter, um, 
and um, am I seeing any uh, buds yet? Yeah, I'm starting to see in each of the nodes some type of flowering taking place in all of the nodes. And when we had our earlier hybrid variety, we had flowers all over the place. It was flowering tremendously. Um, but then all of a sudden the plant just collapsed. And so when I see these brown stresses, I know some things are can be traced back to other species. And so I don't want to let them off the hook, but at the same time I have to make those connections. So but I'm seeing two different crops from two different seed stock behaving the same way, then I have some very strong concerns about the, uh, the seeds themselves. Darrow Addison, torpedopunt.com. Darrow Addison, torpedopunt.com. I wish I could show you the amount of life that's running around these plants. They're cleaning the leaves off. They're servicing the plant. I see many different types of bugs and ants just servicing and cleaning that plant off. Man, they must know a real healthy plant. They must know a real healthy plant. That's another good sign when I see living things. Now, <clears throat> what I want to see, listen very carefully, with torpedo pots, they create such a divine environment for your plant that it wants to grow like you've never seen before, that, well, it creates an environment. Today's plants, we use a lot of chemicals to grow. And those chemicals are not really help the plant build up defensive properties to protect itself. And what it does sometimes, it opens up the door for an invasion of other types of biological living and non-living material. And so you have to be very careful uh, what you, the environment you're setting up for, for your plants. And with torpedo pot, it tries to correct all the things we've done wrong to go back to a stable behavior. If that stable behavior is not good, um, you might want to get rid of those seeds. You know, if the stable behavior is good, you might want to take those, reproduce those seeds, use them over again. You want to cleanse the damage that we created to the environment as much as possible. Try to cleanse it. So each will go back to its original seed stock, but in the torpedo pot, give it time for it to return back to its original seed stock behavior. Original characteristics, I should say, before we walk the earth or before we treat us now to walk in New York or so we're creating it. But it's trying to go back to its original genetic inheritance. And that's what this is all about. The seed gets to go back and express itself as much as it can, as much as it can. And um, this is what we're all about. DowerAddison.com. So when you have plants that are growing like this, and the only thing I've done is walk up, maybe pull out a little thing I think it was growing, watch it grow. I came back and um, I gave it my 312-12 maybe twice so far, maybe about twice, maybe at the maximum three times so far. And and I like what I'm seeing. I don't like it totally now. Because I'm seeing behaviors I still don't like that I don't see consistently. Um, well, I do see some of them consistently done, but I want to make sure that the color is good. See the tips right here? See how it curls up on the tip right there? See how unique that is? Let me see if I can bring the camera a little bit closer. You get to see the different behaviors uh, with the plants that you deal with. And that is so cool, man. That is really cool. Let's bend this down a little bit. Let's focus on this. See this roughish that's going on right here? Around the tips of all of these leaves. And that is the unique behavior to this cucumber. That is unique behavior to this cucumber. Now, we don't know, we don't see it all over the place yet. Some prominent and some than there's others. The newer leaves don't have it yet. The older leaves, you see, they start to, to have it. It's available. So I'm looking at that, and I'm looking at the fact that I want to make sure the flush is natural, the color is natural. See that light green and the dark green veins running across it? I want to make all this is natural, and this is not really stretch marks that are due to um, well, it is part of the genetic inheritance, but limited to genetic inheritance. Can we change it? Can we turn it back to where we want it to be? I like the fact that in all the nodes here, guys, these are torpedo pots. These are self-growing planters. All you do is put your seeds and your plants in this planter right here, and it grows your food for you. You never have to grow your food again. So in this plant right here, 
we tend to see, okay, these are the beginning leaves. They're good, they're fine. You expect decay of the beginning leaves, but they look still look healthy. They have a little bit of yellowing, but it's great. No different from anything else. But actually, the whole plant is looking flush the same color throughout. There are tinges of growth on the outer right here, but for the most part, it's absolutely beautiful. You couldn't ask for anything better. I'm just worried about marks like this, stress marks. Now, this is on a secondary leaf, secondary node, or the tertiary node. And this is what I don't want to see, because this is what I saw before and some of my uh, hybrids whose uh, seeds were absolutely horrible. Germinated, but they collapsed. They didn't fulfill their genetic responsibility to us. So overall, though, this planter looks great. This is Darrell Addison, torpedopot.com. We make self-growing planters that grow your food with no human intervention, where all you have to do is put your seeds in this planter, and you'll have food for the rest of your life. i got to get down and dirty, guys. But this is amazing. This truly is a wonder. Well, all you do is walk up to the planter. You put your seeds in. You put your plants in, and it grows your food for you. You don't have to grow your food anymore. And the color and the flushness of everything is so perfect. I love the way it's got its runners running out here. It looks absolutely beautiful. And I can see the flowers starting to form within the nodes themselves and with the top flowers themselves. So they look really good, they look extremely healthy, and they've got a lot of living creatures on the plants. You can see this right in here. My little man, he's, uh, there you go, there you go. Can you see that? Yes, 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 yes. And a lot of ants are servicing the plants to let you know that they're doing work to clean up anything that they see that is unwanted on those plants. So this looks like a really healthy, good environment, not an environment that is being infused by chemicals. Um, no, this is a natural, organic environment. How? species should be able to grow and live peaceably and provide food for you and your family and the torpedo pot allows that to happen this torpedo pot when you turn that knob on that planter all it does is allow water to go through in a very strategic way it inhibits the bad bacteria and fungus and allows the good ones it promotes the building up of, the, of that good healthy environment it allows digestion to take place in the planter so that now your plants can actually eat more frequently and they have the available nutrients to them, available to them. And so that's what torpedo pot does. It's a self-growing planter. Never water, never feed your plants, and it will feed you and your family for the rest of your life. Talk to you guys later. All right, bye-bye.